Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game, and welcome back to I Hate My Life. No, I'm kidding. Um, so I just spent an hour trying to play this mission. I'm gonna spend another hour playing this mission. I've tried twice to do this case correctly, and I'm over two. Let's see if I can go over three. So we are gonna do the the white shoe slaying. I couldn't remember what it's freaking called. I just saw the name. This has a lot of loops in it, so you have to do things very carefully one way. If not, you're gonna have a bad time. So we don't have a narrator. So game, take us away. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, the fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. Sounds pretty easy. Now you're wondering how I screwed Skipper, this up. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? I missed four questions. Now, boys, we all know how many big. imbeciles have confessed in the I don't know how I missed. Actually, Eight I know how I missed two. I don't know where the other two I missed were. Where he says I'll sing. And I got them all right. So of course I did, but. Greetings from sunny California. When's it going to stop? Take it away, game. I'm going to kind of speed run this okay? <laughs> so, uh. Pay attention to the story while you can, because we're gonna go fast. A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Ah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to say. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man. But you can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. I mean, he makes sense. Sometimes you gotta start small. But we'll see how this actually goes. Detectives, Phelps and Galloway, homicide. I can see and secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From a temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. And close. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. Green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. The term irritates me. All right. So there's three clues you look for. There's one on the body. There it is. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Probably making making a mess here. Oh look, boot prints. I wonder what no size they are. No drag marks. I think I've seen the killer it. was moving around, surveying the scene. There's no way these are size eights. No possible way. They wouldn't do that three times in a row, would they? Or four times? 
our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Alright. Oh no! Random person shows up! I wonder what she's gonna say. I've only heard her twice. I'm doing horrible at this, I know. It's one of those frustrating missions in the game. Enrique! Detective, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Spill. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Your voice sounds familiar. I don't like it. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Fair enough. You saw an awful hobo. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. I'm also a hobo leader. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. And I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. All right. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and do this. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks. Alright. For the love of everything that is game, do not go to you drive. the hobo camp. I need to go over the case notes. Last. And where exactly are we going? It's stupid. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written onto them. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, all right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? No. They're all the same. It's the same setup every time. I don't like the homicide section. Until the last, one well, of the last ones anyway. All right. We get right trigger to sprint in this game. At least the rain stopped. We can change back into those white bucks now. Thank you. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case and one of your laundry labels came up. F-1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. I want register. I'm kind of shocked sure people have registers for dry cleaning back in the 40s. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. A man that likes his job you more wrote than the people. number down on that dress, is it there? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Mrs. T. Terrelson, 143 Emerald Street, Westlake. And the Faywood Green Silk dress, silk dress is what she wore. Her timely demise. Alright. Let's go visit our good friend. You're behind the wheel. Well. Fine. Let's see if Where he home. Rusty's favorite thing's gonna happen now. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Uh, please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. The last one? 
last one wasn't it. The first one wasn't it. It's funny how obvious one of the clues are. You see over there that rope. Because everything rots with rope. Little girls! No! Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think that... procedure. You see to your girl. Oh, how stone-faced they are the whole time. Like, they don't understand what's going on. I'm not sure... Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be alright, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Tarleton? Let him search. What a weird Let name to Alright. So, like I said... You want to hear something funny, Terrell? Some bunks fake killing out. Check if she was a regular. I mean, but we don't know if he caught an APV. If you'd excuse me, ladies. Alright. We're here for five clues? We can see if Pinker can match size the impression eight foods. of the crime scene. We love size eight foods. Lars was out in the rain last night. Okay. So she went out without her handbag? Oh, look, look. At least she was spared that particular indignity. It has been used, though. What's her first name? She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Yeah, I don't get how... I'm trying not to yawn, sorry. How you leave up your ID and stuff behind. I feel like, well, they're probably more lax than the whole ID thing. Why are there cars behind our car? I'm a bit confused by that. Looks like a match with the ligature marks. Alright. Something's not right. Is Rusty right on this one? I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. Doubt it. For the record, Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. We knew that. You just looked at the ID. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. There can't be anyone who knew her. I don't know. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Well, triple braid bow rope. Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bow line from your boat is a perfect match. Look, I know this looks bad. I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I let her go. All right, let's talk about some alibis. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. I don't like that answer. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night, she wanted to go dancing. 
Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. <laughs> All right, what else you got for me? Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Yeah, I don't think so. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go off dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. well I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. That's not very nice. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. Last time you talked to her? When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. Paid the sitter and went to bed. But why is your clothes wet? You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? Come on, so we looked around. Either your muddy boots or your wet jacket. You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. <sighs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's. But nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Charlson. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to broads, you'll be given in to them your entire life. Eh. You could break the husband's story right now. Call in, get some uniforms dispatched, check out his alibi. All right, let me do that. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thank you. Thank you. All right. To the bar. Appreciate your time, sir. Why are you guys there? You can drive. How the? And where exactly are we going? Like I said, do not go to the hobo camp. All right, continue to read back. You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. I mean, I believe it. Not everybody wants to kill their wives. In this day and age. All right, Barons. It's always a bar. Gents, drink. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, you know, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. I wonder how out he was. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. Seems legit. On foot, in a car, by bus? How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. No one's got a thing for her. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Russ, go do that when we do this. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. Uh... The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Betty. All right, two creeps were all over her. Promising to take her dancing. Did you get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy? 
is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. We'll take care of him. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. It's funny how this guy looks like he's lying about everything, but... He's... The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Clough. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. This is Bates. That's him. LAPD, don't make me chase you, shitbird. You can't let the so son of a bitch get away. Scenes. That cherry pie was deep. Bates, we just want to talk. Come on, we got a ride. Get in and drive. But why did you stop? I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered. Right. We could have a killer on our The first hands. time I failed this quote mission, I fell here. I real a person. They deserve it. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in clothes. Jeez. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. You have to be careful because you cannot do more than 3,000 city damage. Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road. Ooh. Now is not the time to play around, fell. Keep going. One more. One more. Let's end this part. What the? All right. All right. You got me. That was different. I've had That's bad. I don't. That was his fault, right? Put your hands in the air! And wave them around like you just don't care. Okay, Bates. You're gonna answer some questions. I have a choice in this? No. Tell me the victim. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? No, we're not. Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what we want to know. She was okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. Mm. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. Yeah. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Oh, crap. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice, private chat. Yeah. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. All right, this is where I absolutely screwed up. So, telephone. Operator, give me R and I. Who do you do now? now? <laughs> Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Were there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy able seaman, has information oh. relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thanks, ma'am. Alright, so the goal is do not do either of that. Get into this car. We'll click this police station, but we're not gonna sit here for long. And you're gonna stay you're gonna understand why in a second. 
Garage on 7th Street. Let's hit it, Phelps. The cab driver might tie this whole thing together. I hope you're right. All right. Can you update the picture? Can you... You see our taxi anywhere? Please don't hit me. Where's you that do have a big leeway when it comes to damage. 11K, yellow cab so don't be afraid, five, but be one. careful. Sighted at the corner of Wilshire and Whitford. Repeat, Wilshire and Whitford, 11K. Alright, so that should be that far away. Of course, using the siren makes things a whole lot easier. He will move when you get a little bit closer one more time. I believe we have right in this area. You're not gonna do it right, are you, game? Ooh, we'll hit oh, wait! LAPD, we're investigating a murder. What's that got to do with me? The fair you picked up from Baron's bar last night. What was the woman wearing? It was a green dress. Oh, don't tell me something's happened to her. Tell me about her. She was with this sailor, and he was all over her. She wasn't having any of it. Said she just wanted to dance. But he had that look in his eye. Where did you drop them off? It's at the Crystal Ballroom. What time? Uh, after midnight. 12.30? Something like that. Thanks. You've been a big help. Well, that's going to ruin my day. My question is, how are you at work again already? You know the All way. All right, we're going to let him drive now. We're going to the Central Police right. Station for real this Where time. Where are we headed? You have to do it in that order. What? You're behind the wheel. All right, get us there in one piece. You have to do it in that order. If you go straight to the police station, you cannot get five stars. 